I think a lot of people understand the internet from sort of the marketing media side of the world, right? Where your information is used to sell you things and profile you. One of the interesting things in the automotive space is very different. We're trying to leverage this information in order to provide a safer, more efficient and effective service for transportation users. We're always about disruption. So we're looking at what's happening with information. And in the vehicle industry, in the transportation industry, connected cars are going to be a dramatic shift in our understanding of transportation, safety, security, all sorts of things that affect cars, vehicles, and, and the people who use them. Everyone we work with in the ecosystem uh, has resonated with that mission, that that's the first thing that this data can do. It can reduce accidents, save lives, reduce injuries from cars, get people where they're going faster, reduce pollution. As car companies have started to engage with computer systems, database systems, or, you know, information-based systems in their car, you have some ability to collect and understand how your product's being used in a real-time basis. And then the second thing, you can add new services to that car over the air in real time. And I think ultimately everybody in this space is going to benefit from, from this evolution. Move.ai has a tremendous amount of experience in machine learning for B2B or large enterprise in other domains. We're taking a lot of those experiences and applying them uh, as we look at transportation as the next large industry to be impacted. We see ourselves as a company that can help bring together all the rapidly moving, changing parts. We aggregate data and put them together into a platform and a service where companies can more easily gain access. Here is now implementing the open location platform. It's an environment where you've got open marketplace of data sources. You can bring together data sets along with the libraries to make sense of the data. First and foremost is the map itself. It's fundamental to all the machine learning that we do to understand the roadways themselves and all the metadata around them. What we do is connect all of our information to the road segments themselves because that's kind of the central key to all the information we work with. The road itself is, is sort of the background, the, the, the information infrastructure underneath all these connected services. Well, all of that fits in the OLP platform, the ability to continually collect this information, curate it, and make it available back into cars or applications. I think as a chief product officer, it's important to have a data strategy. Data and information is part of the product. But as we move to connected, always on information streaming um, and new capabilities in the car to deliver software. Data is now literally uh, the key part of the product. I believe everybody who is thinking as a product officer in the transportation space has to always be thinking about what information is out there, how can I use it, how can it improve my product? Because it's gonna allow you to deliver innovative services that, that you couldn't do before.